Good YouTube, that one I here back again once again. And today we're, today we're back for episode number three of our brand new Pokemon Storm Silver Egg Lock. In the last episode, you guys, if you missed that, I definitely recommend that you go back and check it out because we began our adventure. We hatched our first egg and we met our rival, Mr. T to the dub to the eyes of the T. <laughs> they stop. Anyway, in today's episode, you guys, we're going to get the hell out of the starting portion of the game, make our way to Violet City as well, and see if we can't hatch a few more eggs. So if you guys are hyped for today's episode of Pokemon Storm Silver, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, if we can break 5,000 likes on today's episode, then on Friday, we will have a powerful hour of power episode edition of Storm silver uh, because you guys not only molly whopped you guys like like on Monday you guys unbuckled your pants you ate like 10 burritos and you took a dump all over that like button you treated that like button like it was a stranger in the street like you didn't know what the hell it was you guys absolutely demolished the like button on Monday's episode so thank you all so so much for support I've said this before but the reason that youtubers content creators ask people to hit the like button is because it gauges like audience interaction how many people are here and watching and like in interested and, and want to be a part of the series so thank you guys so so much for that support i'm glad some of you guys are hyped for it if every episode could do that well then pigs would fly but any any and all support you guys can show is more than appreciated so let's go ahead and get into today's episode by recapping our party real quick or what it what it is as of right now i need to actually be clicked into the game so that the buttons will work <laughs> so we have oh we get to have some eggs we have uh vaseline our starter who is still rocking pokey rust hasty nature rocking out with bullet punch fake out cross chop and headbutt of course the pp issue with cross chop fixed itself out automatically which is great i didn't have to do anything then we have amaterasu our jolly natured growlith level five rocking sunny day morning sun fire fang and crunch and unfortunately some of you guys pointed out in the comment section last time i didn't realize it because i don't have all 700 pokemon's move sets and everything especially in this game since it's changed i don't have everything memorized but unfortunately amaterasu is not legal um, apparently, Morning Sun is not something that it gets in this game. Apparently, I think someone said they don't even, uh, Growth didn't even get it in 4th gym. And apparently, um, it doesn't get Fire Fang until level 28. It's not supposed to have it this early. So, unfortunately, that's not something that's an easy fix like the PP issue for Cross Chop. That's just flat out illegal. So, whoever genned Amaterasu, I apologize, but it is incorrect. I'm pretty sure I, I I went back and double checked it, but it's it's slipping my mind. So we're gonna go ahead and box Amaterasu and pull out a new egg instead in place of it. And uh, if there's any of you guys watching that have any upsetment with that or anything, or might happen to know a secret or something that we don't all know, let us know in the comment section below and we'll get it figured out. I'm sure this won't be the first time something like that will happen in this let's play because, like I said, um, everyone doesn't know all move sets and level up and all that shit for every single Pokemon in the Pokedex, especially since Strano changed a whole bunch of stuff in this game, it's easy to get stuff like that mixed up, so if you guys catch it or have any discrepancies with it, by all means let us know, but we're gonna go ahead and drop off Amaterasu, uh, we're just gonna mark this as... We're gonna mark this one as the death box. Let's change. Nope, nope. That's I thought it changed box. It meant nope. Doesn't mean change the name. We're gonna call this... We're gonna call this... No, we should call it the graveyard. Yo, we're gonna call this the graveyard. No, you know what we're gonna call it? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. This is so sad. <laughs> this is so sad. We're gonna call it the discard pile. Because, oh shit, it's not enough, it doesn't fit. Okay, it's discard. It's not the death box, it's the discard pile. Because it's just like it's, um, whatchamacallit, it's TCG. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and drop Amaterasu off in the discard pile. It sucks and it's unfortunate that uh, we can't use her or as of right now. But it's okay because we're gonna get another egg to replace her really quick right now. I'm actually gonna uh, rename this one right now. Let's rename it. Let's rename it on deck because that is what it is. It's mods that are on deck ready to go. 
on deck, on motherfucking deck, ready to go, nigga. So let's go ahead and scoop up another mod. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna pull a replace. No, I should pull a replacement out of the same box. Never mind. I was gonna say box ones we're gonna get replaced from, but we scooped up Amaterasu from box six, so we're gonna pull another replacement from box six. So here we go. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Stop. We have terror. Holding leftovers, so it needs to be level five. Terror holding leftovers. So let's see what we get out of this one. Oh sh! No, I just messed up. I forgot to take the leftovers off. I forgot to take leftovers off. I'm such a dummy. I am such a dummy. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? You don't see this. You don't see that. You didn't see. It. Did anybody see it? Did anybody see it? Cause I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I I, I don't know what just happened. I, I I never forget to take the item off. What are you talking about? I'm pretty sure it was second from, um, it was second from the top. Terror, there we go. So let's go ahead and move you out, and I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna take the time to rename the boxes right now, but, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop Amaterasu off right here. Ugh, I'm not gonna do that every single time. From here on out, if I forget, then I just forget, but I went ahead and did it that time because it's, I'm, I'm still new to this, okay? Get off my back! God, get off my back! Oh, wait, 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 I almost did it again. <laughs> I almost did it again. I almost did it again. Could you imagine if I did it twice? Okay, so let's see what terror is going to hatch into. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. <gasps> That's not even bad. Wow. A turtwig. Yo, it's not a fire type, so it doesn't actually replace, but I'm not mad about that. Because I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever done an LP with a Turtwig or a Torterra. If it lasts that long, I don't think I ever have. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. We have Terror, the Turtwig. It's adamant nature, so we're all offense. Sea Bob and Nisha, Superpower, and Body Slam. Now, again, I can't check all of that right now, so if anybody's watching that happens to know whether it's legal or not or not, let me know in the comment section and we'll uh, go ahead and address it in the next episode. But I have a feeling that that is correct. Um, I feel like I've seen Amnesia Superpower before. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. We're just going to leave it for now. We're going to leave it. We're going to leave it for now. It did have leftovers, so I'm going to go ahead and give it right back. I'm going to go ahead and give it right back. Let's go ahead and scoop up some rare candies and use them on Terror here and get Terror up to level 5 as well. I think we're going to hatch one more egg for right. Oh! Withdraw? Hell no, nigga. We're gonna go ahead and hatch one more egg right now because uh, the only downside to doing egg locks like this is that some episodes, if you have a lot of eggs to hatch, you'll end up with like 15, 20 minutes of you just hatching eggs. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to, or I can just save it. You know, what? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna save it for right now because technically we did hatch an egg because we had to swap one out for Amaterasu. So for right now, we're gonna go ahead and wait to hatch these other two eggs, the Swablu and the Centric we caught on the previous two routes. And we're just gonna boogie on out of here because I would actually like to make some sort of progress in this episode. I want to get some potions as well. I want to make some sort of progress rather than just sitting there doing nothing. Can we scoop up four? Let's get four potions. We shouldn't need more than five to get to Violet City. Let's get two of those. And uh, we can get some antidotes as well. Let's get some antidotes. And some uh, pearlized hills. There we go. Nice 500 big ones left over. I like that. I like having medication early on in the series. So we're going to go ahead and get the hell up out to Route 30. We actually need to get... Never mind. I was going to say, we actually need to get our Route 30 encounter as well. So let's go ahead and uh, Pokeball that hoe. Pokeball that hoe! It's a... It's a Weedle! It's a Weedle! You know what? Fake out. Oh, I can't fake out. I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. Can I bullet punch you without killing you? I feel like a bullet punch is gonna kill. It didn't kill. It did not kill. If you break out of this, I'm a I was gonna say I was gonna bullet punch you again. We just wasted five Pokeballs on a Weedle! Are you kidding me? And we're poisoned now. Wait, you, you can wait. Can you poison a poison type in this gen? No, you can't. Look at this, the screen glitches out again. Mm. So I'm actually going to go back and heal real quick like. We're going to go back and heal real quick like. And then head back. Cause, uh, so that's three eggs we can scoop up uh, for the next, uh, at the end of this episode. And we should be four because I think we're going to go to Dark Cave as well. So that should be four eggs that we're going to hatch at the end of this episode. That's a crazy amount of eggs. 
Giggity goddamn. It's a lot of eggs. And you know what? I'm not even mad about this, because yeah, I, I'm just going to say, I absolutely love and adore Vaseline. I'm so happy he's our starter. Just look at it. He's so... Watch. I want to see. Does he do the thing again where he stares at us? <laughs> I love that so much. I don't know why I love it so much either. It's just fucking adorable how he just turns around and stares at you. And he like giggles and shit. That's awesome in my opinion. I love that. Okay, Mr. Joey. Youngster Joey here with his rat ta 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 I- I'm just gonna do the best I can, fuck it. So we're gonna go ahead and register Youngster Joey, only because it's fucking Youngster Joey. Most of the time I decline any and all requests to add on the phone, but it's- it's freaking Youngster Joey! You gotta let Youngster Joey hit- hit me up on- 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 on the sidekick, or whatever. And I'm just gonna- I'm just- I'm just gonna try and get as much- Oh, sorry Claire. I'm just gonna try and get as much- Yo, Taunt's not even that bad! Yo! I don't think I'm gonna teach him taunt though, because his moveset's already amazing, but I think I'm gonna pass up on taunt for right now. C dot? Nigga. Oh, is he raging? Fuck out of here. Stop raging. A cherubi? Yo, if I had actual poison type move, if I had another stab move besides cross shot, we'd, we'd be doing the finest right now. I'm not a trainer. Fine, fuck off. I didn't want to battle a trainer anyway. Are you a trainer? Yes. Yo, she just said, hey, I just met you. I'll win, maybe. Yo, that's Carly. Oh, I know Carly. Yo, is that Carly Ray that we're actually fighting? And that nigga's like, yeah, it is. <laughs> Yo, she just said, I just met you. I'll win, maybe. Yo, did anybody realize that was in this game? Am I the first person? I feel like I'm not the first person to realize that. But still, that just blew my mind. Holy... Holy! Yo, she just- uh, did you just encore me? A skitty. I feel like she just encored me, didn't she? No, she didn't. What did she do? I don't know what she just did. I'm not 100% sure on what she just did. But I kind of want to go back and heal again because we're out of cross chops. That's a new route! Yo, we're gonna have so many eggs to hatch! Oh my goodness! This entire episode is just gonna be us sitting in the Pokemon Center hatching eggs! Egg after egg after egg after egg! But I want to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal because we're at a cross chops. And it wouldn't be that big of a deal if cross chop wasn't our only stab move. So we're going to go back and heal. And I love watching that Crow Gunk. Vaseline. Little Vaseline follow us. Someone left a comment in the last episode saying there's no other Pokemon more uh, better suited for, for us for a starter. And honestly, I, I love the fact that we have a Crow Gunk as a starter because just like using a little uh, Turtwig, it's like, yo, I should actually switch. Let's get Terra some training. <laughs> Let's get terror some training. I love the fact that like we're using mods that you don't see used all too often I love that so much and a uh, fun fact for you guys I actually considered I debated the option of not allowing starters to be sent in for this LP But uh, I was sitting there one night and I was thinking you know starter Pokemon for a lot of people That's the first Pokemon they ever actually get and this sounds like super duper like Cliche or, or something like that from the games. Okay, this is route 31 Yo, they cut the bush there. Not bad. Let's get our first guy on Route 31. It sounds like super duper cliche or something like that, because you know, like this is the first, uh, this is the first uh, uh, mon that a lot of people get to use, and yada yada yada, this and that. And I realized that a lot of people's favorite Pokemon might end up being starters, and it would really suck if like I didn't allow that to be in, because I thought, oh, Air Cutter, please stop, please stop. I know I'm a Grass type, you're a Flying type. Stop that. Oh my God! Uh, I am actually terrified right now because we have Vaseline and Terror. I'm gonna go out to you so in case I was gonna say in case he uses the air cutter again. I'm gonna fake out. Please don't kill. I was a crit. Of course it's a crit! I was gonna say if I could fake out, I would lower its health enough so then I can catch it next turn. But the reason I went to Vaseline is just in case. And went for air cutter again. It shouldn't kill because we're higher level than that. 
And on top of that, it would be one of those things that's like... Maybe I'd be able to run from it then? But, whatever. Whatever, little turtwig, come on. So we didn't get an encounter on this route, so we're only gonna have four mons to hatch, or four eggs to hatch, which is more than alright. It's more than alright, yo, it's more than alright. Let's just get our encounter in Dark Cave and get the hell up out of here. Geodude. Okay, Geodude we can handle. Should I superpower the Geodude? <laughs> yo, why is Tackle doing so much? How about no thank you? I'm gonna superpower the Geodude. Ah! Oh! Stop, Terror! Why does Terror keep getting, like, mollywopped like that? I'm gonna throw a Pokeball. Please don't have, like... Thank you. I was gonna say, please don't have, like, a one random-ass ground-type move, like, Mud Slap or some shit to hit me with. Okay, so we got our four Mons that we're gonna be able to, uh, mess with in... in or mess with hatch eggs from at the end of today's episode. My god. Terror is just getting the absolute work given to him. Like, can we not? Please and thank you, can we not? We got another potion for our troubles, but come on now. Don't you give me rest? Maybe he doesn't. Yo, did they make it so we can walk up here? Oh, they made it so we can walk up there. Yo, that's awesome. Uh, I kind of sort of don't want to battle him just yet because I know he's going to be a bug catcher. I kind of do want to battle him, though. I kind of do want to battle him, though. So if he's a bug catcher, I'm going to swap to Vaseline and just get the experience because why the fuck not? And we can get this Pokeball as well. And then maybe next episode we can do some more grinding on Terror and anyone else that we scoop up. I don't think we need to do a grinding montage for the next episode. Maybe not. Because I feel like next episode... Like, he looks at us! Uh, he looks at us! I feel like next episode might be Sprout Tower. And an episode after that, we'll take on the gym. We shall see, we shall see. But I'm just going to take any and all experience I can get right now, because why not? We get Vaseline leveled up. Actually, you know what? That's not good. We actually... Yo! It just set in on me. It just set on me, like, the severity of our team. Faulkner is a flying type Pokemon user and we have a fighting and a grass type hell no you can't have my number bitch fuck out of here professor elms calling me already oh this is a psychic type fuck out of here professor elm just tried to call me why did he just try and call me like what reason does he have to call me already bro I just left I haven't made it to the next city yet leave me alone get off my back I can do this on my own oh shit Versus recorder. We can battle niggas again. The versus recorder can record your Pokemon battles! I have to go now! I won't let you pass me again! Let's go, Meryl! Alright. So call me, matey! Uh, 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 uh. Let me stop. Okay, so we made it to Violet City. <laughs> Shard de berry, shard de berry, yeah, yeah, I trade berry for a shard. If you bring me some shards, I'll give you three berries, yeah. How about you stop spinning and get the fuck out of my face? Yo, if I remember correctly... If I remember correctly, isn't there a... Dude here that'll give us a starter? Right? Oh, it is! So, that, so we do actually end up having five bonds to swap out. Oh my goodness, the rest of this episode is going to be us swapping out Mons for eggs. Okay, so we're going to do the four that we have in our party first for right now. We're going to do these four right now. Because obviously this is Route 101 and then Route something and then that was Route 30. So, you guys, if you saw the last episode, you know we got eggs to swap out. So let's go ahead and swap out... Wait, 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 wait! I said last time I was going to go to the purple box. And then I said I was going to go to box one. So we'll do purple box and then box one. So we're going to go ahead and swap someone out for this level four Swallow Blue. Let's see what we can get. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Stop. We have Krona. Oh! Krona holding a choice scarf. Hmm. Let's go ahead and scoop that item off of Krona here. Let's go ahead and scoop the item off of Krona, and let's hope and pray that Krona is not anything illegal. Krona obviously being a reference to Soul Eater, so let's see what we have. Oh, snap! 
I've never seen a Choice Scarf Absol before, but you know what? We're gonna rock out. Krona, I like to nickname my Bayonets Krona. Uh, I've never seen... Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take that back. I was gonna say, I've never seen anyone nickname an Absol Krona before. Normally, I like to nickname my Absols like, um... Zeref? Or something like that, but we now have a level 4 Absol. I should've checked the moveset and everything to make sure it's legal before... I'm not learning Leer, before I use the rare candies on him. So let's go ahead and check out Krona here, and see what we have. It's a naive nature, so it can be mixed. Sucker Punch, Zen Headbutt, Mega Horn, and Magic Coat. I feel like that's not legal. I feel like it's not. But you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check after the episode, and of course, if you guys watching know for a fact or not, if it is or isn't legal, let us know. I really hope that people follow the how to make an egg instructions and made sure to put moves on it that were legal. I feel like Mega Horn is legal, but it's not sure about the rest. I'm just not sure about the rest. I'm just not sure about the rest. I'm not gonna add all these mods to the team for right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and place them in our on deck box. I'm gonna go ahead and place them in our on deck box because I don't wanna just automatically slap four mods on the team and have a full team of six just yet. So let's go ahead and go to box one now. And swap something out for this level 3 Centred. So let's see what we get here. It's got Dizzy Punch. God damn. Big money, no way. 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 Stop! We have Toru holding the leftovers. Where have I seen Toru from before? Why does that name sound familiar? Toru. And it was a level 3. Toru. So let's see what Toru is. Get a little Makuita! Aww! I'm not even mad. It doesn't help us with our weakness against, um. Faulkner. I could not remember his name for a second. I'm pretty sure I spelled Toru correctly here as well. That doesn't help us with our weakness against Faulkner, because it's another fighting type. He's adamant nature, wake up, slap, faint attack, bullet punch, and cross chop. I feel like that's correct. I feel like that's correct. See, now I'm just gonna, like, second guess every little thing now. I'm just gonna be like, is it, is it right? Is it right? I'm not sure if that's right or not. I don't know. Okay, so we got uh, our second little, uh, little, little dumpling scooped up and opened up there. So let's go ahead and pull a. Let's let's go to, let's go deep. Let's go deeper to a deeper box. We only gone to ten. Let's go to box fifteen. All pink for our level four Weedle. We're gonna swap out. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Stop. It was a level four Weedle. Floyd holding an expert belt. Why do I feel like that's gonna be like a Hitmonchan or something? Floyd holding an expert belt. Snatch that away from him. Level four, Floyd holding hold, holding an expert belt. I hope it's not a Hitmonchan. That'd be another fighting type. That's not gonna help us. It's a Tyrogue. It's another fighting type. Wait, is or is Tyrogue normal? I feel like if nah. I think wasn't in the original game, wasn't it a normal type? And then when it evolved, it changed? I don't know. Well, we'll see here in a second what it is in this game, at least. So we have another fighting type, Floyd, who's level 4. Let's go ahead and get Floyd leveled up here. To level 4, and see what Floyd is rocking. Floyd, Adamant Nature, Tackle, Fake Out, Bullet Punch, Mock Punch. And it's a fighting type. Uh, that doesn't help us against Faulkner. Why are we getting so unlucky now? Okay, so we got Floyd, and we're gonna go... Let's let's just pull from the last box for the last one. We have a level 8 Geodude. Okay, not a fighting, not a grass, not a bug. Give us... Electric resist flying, right? Rock resist flying. We need, we need, we need a Geodude, basically. So let's see what we can get here. Big money, no whammy. Level 8. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Stop. Risa. So whatever Risa is, level 8 Risa. Let's go ahead and snatch those leftovers from you real quick. Level 8 Risa. Oh. Whatever Risa is, come through Risa! Come through! It's a Chansey! Look at fat ass Chansey, but yo, we can't use it! Oh. We can't use Risa, the Chansey. 
because with the egg creation video we 100% flat out said that you have to send the most basic form of that Pokemon so if you wanted to send a Chansey or a Blissey you'd have to send a Happini so we have to go ahead and pull another Mon it sucks it's a bold Chansey oh I would have loved to have used the Chansey uh, can't use it! Like I said, that's 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 a part of the basic rules of creating and sending an egg. You have to send in the basic form of Pokemon, and prior to, what is it, 4th gen, when Happy was announced, Chansey would have been acceptable. If we were doing a 1st gen, 2nd gen, or 3rd gen egg lock, Chansey would have been acceptable. But because Happiny is a thing, you have to send in a Happiny in order to make it work. Ah, okay, so we need to pull another Mon from Box 16. So let's do this! Big Money No Whammy! Big Money No Whammy! Big Money No Whammy! Big Money No Whammy! Stop! We have Southpaw. Oh, that sounds like another fighting type. No! <laughs> we have more leftovers. It sounds like another fighting type. Oh, this battle against Faulkner is going to be the best. We have Southpaw. What is Southpaw going to be? We're going to get destroyed! <laughs> We're going to get absolute mollywhopped. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we have Southpaw the Mankey. He's level 8. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. South Paul the Mankey, who is level 8. What? What is with all the fighting types? Is fighting even that popular of a type in the game? I would say it's probably, isn't it like, like the 10th most popular type or something? Everybody's sending in so many fighting types. Oh wait, he's supposed to go to level 8. What the hell am I doing? I wasn't even thinking. Oh my god. Oh, I feel so bad about that. Jolly Nature, Scratch, Low Kick, Rock Blast, Revenge. Why do I feel like Rock Blast isn't legal? Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to check that afterwards. If he has Rock Blast, we might stand a chance. We might stand a chance because he would be the fastest man on the team. I actually leveled him up two levels too high. I apologize. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Like I said, I'm not going to add all of them to the team just yet. We're going to see. We're going to see what we can do here. We're going to see what we can do here. So let's go ahead and drop you in the box real quick. We've hatched so many fighting types so far. Four of the six Mon we've hatched so far have been fighting type. Okay, so we have one other Mon that we have the potential to get that we can swap out. Because in Sacred Gold and Storm Silver, Joanna put these little questionnaire quiz things in here and if you answer one in each city they'll give you a starter Pokemon so let's go ahead and see what we can do here and because it's a gift Pokemon it's a static Pokemon we can take the quiz and swap it out for an egg and it doesn't count as our Violet City encounter so let's get started question number one were any Hoenn Pokemon attainable within Fire Red and Leaf Green I know I have to get the national decks yes but during the main storyline no so since they don't specify main storyline I'm gonna say yes Correct. Time for question two. Is a Dragonair more than 13 feet long? How the fuck am I supposed to know? Yes. We got it. The semi-final question. Is it true that Bulbasaur was the first Pokemon created? It's the first Pokemon in the National Dex, but it's not the first Pokemon ever created, so I'm going to say no. Because again, there's no specification. Yeah, we're doing good. Can Tropius be found within Diamond Air? How the f- how, how am I supposed to know? I'm going to say... Yes. Fuck. Okay, we were wrong, so we could we just do it again. Now we know the answers. How on Pokemon? Yes, 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 yes. Oh shit! No, it's yes, yes, no, no. Yes, yes, no, no. There we go. Congratulations! You completed the quiz. You can now pick a prize Pokemon. Which would you like? I'm pretty sure he goes until all three are done. So we're just gonna scoop up Bulbasaur, cause why not? As you wish. We received a Bulbasaur, so we can swap out Bulbasaur for something else. We don't need to nickname it. Look out for more quiz masters. Okay. So, Bulbasaur, I'm guessing, is the... Oh, it's level 10. I was going to say it's level 5, but it's level 10. It's Modest Nature, which honestly isn't bad for a Bulbasaur. Because uh, starter Pokemon can be run in so many different diverse ways. And honestly, if you want to go all offensive, especially offensive Bulbasaur or Venusaur, you can. So, we're going to go ahead and find a Pokemon to swap out. Let's go ahead. I don't want to duplicate until we fill up all the boxes. Let's do box 8. Level 10 Bulbasaur, let's go. Big money, no whammy, something that can handle a flying-type flying gym. Stop. 
I put it back in the party. God damn it. <laughs> Here we go. One more game. 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 Stop. Level 10. Zazipur! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, my. It's level 10. It's holding a quick claw. Level 10 holding a quick claw. What do you want, Elm? <laughs> Hello, Nappy. I discovered an odd thing. Apparently, there's something called Pokerest that affects Pokemon. <laughs> yes, it's like a virus, so it's called Pokerest. It multiplies fast and affects other Pokemon, too, but that's all. <laughs> it doesn't seem to do anything, and it goes away over time. I got something to worry about. <laughs> Why? You just killed all that hype for Zanzibar. For that! Okay, so Zanzibar, level 10, is gonna be what I think it is. Oh my goodness, I was gonna say, if somebody sent in an actual Don fan, I would be so crushed right now. So Zanzibar lives on. Zanzibar has returned. Zanzibar. Oh my goodness, Zanzibar is here in the flesh. Wait, I didn't take the item off of it, did I? God. Ah! Fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let me take the item off. I, I, I told you before, I was only going to do that once. If I forget from here on out, then we just lose the item. Oh well. So let's go ahead and, uh, flail. No, I don't want flail. Let's go ahead and get you leveled up to level 10, since you're actually supposed to go to level 10. Unlike Southpaw, who wasn't supposed to go to level 10. Wants to learn takedown. Takedown might be a move I want to learn. Body slam, fissure, ice shard, mud slap. I'm feeling... I'm feeling that that is correct. I'm feeling that that is correct. Again, we have the PP issue with them. I think it's because they tried to set max PP, but they didn't change the actual final PP on it, but we already learned that we can fix that. I'm going to get rid of Fissure for takedown because we're not going to be Fissuring anybody anytime soon. No, no thank you. Okay, so we have Zanzibar. Zanzibar, I think we will add to the team because at least it is somewhat defensive. We can hit hard. Yo, and he has Ice Shard too. Yo, that's actually really good. It has Ice Shard, so in a Flying-type gym, Zanzibar, it's not exactly what we need, but it's, at the same time, it's not too terribly bad. It's Adamant Nature 2, absolutely. fucking lootly So that's what our team is looking like right now. We need to get Zanzibar. Zanzibar is kind of sort of almost up to level with Vaseline, but we definitely need to get Terror some levels. So next episode is going to be all about Terror. So, we went ahead and got all the Pokemon hash that we can in this episode, and it's unfortunate, it really, really sucks that Amaterasu, I really was looking forward to using an Arcanine, Amaterasu and Risa here can't be used, but we do have quite the interesting cast building in our on-deck box as well, so I think with that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode of Storm Silver right here, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and head into the Sprout Tower and then take on Faulkner's Gym as well. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Storm Silver, and of course if you're a Prime Learner that be Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course if we can break 5,000 likes on today's episode, then Friday's episode will be a powerful hour of power! <laughs> thank you all so much for your support and thank you for checking out the video. Give me a to that point, Ahana!